Hello Earth Signs, Virgo Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important general messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. Alright, uh, Earth Signs, Virgo Taurus, and Capricorn. Let's get our reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me important general messages for Virgo Taurus and Capricorn today. There are a few court cards here uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. All of these could be the same person or could be multiple people. Eight of Pentacles here for me indicates you've been working really, really hard. Um, some of you could be a workaholic <laughs> overdoing it. Okay, because we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is you, and I feel like, um, yeah, you've just been working really hard for, you know, um, to improve your financial situation or to gain uh, financial security. So we've got the Ace of Cups here and Love Fire. Some of you just cannot be bothered by love <laughs> at this point in time. It feels like it's in the back burner with the Ace of Cups here and Love Fire. However, like it or not, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, you've got two options coming in for you guys. I feel like this may have something to do with your romantic situation. Knight of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and also we've got the Page of Cups feel like these two could be two different people because they are like looking at each other so it feels like some sort of a competition right uh two people may be competing for your attention for your affection for some of you maybe you're dealing with a couple of people right now and you may need to make a choice between the two of them so we've got the tower here and what first there'll be a lot of details in this reading by the way just take what resonates with you we've got the empress here so this is definitely you I'm sensing with this Empress, um, all your hard work will pay off and you come to a point where you're so abundant um, and that you become more self-assured, confident. And also the Empress is an indication of somebody whom uh, is married, have uh, has children or is pregnant. It can be any of these things. So some of you, it's you you know, working towards getting pregnant or uh, working towards wanting to meet somebody who will marry you, treasure you and value you, right? I feel like that is happening pretty soon because we've got the Nada Cups sitting in your present um, position. So I'm sensing there's someone who is understanding and seeing your value and your worth and it's going to offer you love here knight of cups the tower here is a malverse and the four of cups here for me indicates um some of you you may not accept this love offer right away okay i feel like that's because of the three of swords here maybe this is someone who could have hurt you in the past or maybe you have been hurt in the past and doesn't want to rush into things this person seems hopelessly romantic <laughs> knight of cups here and the page of cups yeah mm. i'm seeing two people here to be honest two people one a bit younger one slightly older not older than you are though i feel like these two people are younger than you are but there's one younger one and one slightly older one again a lot of um details in this reading it's not going to apply to all of you just take what resonates with you some of you maybe have already met these two people some of you haven't yet if you haven't that means in the near future there could be um an option two options in love i feel like you are not going to rush into things because we've got the knight of pentacles here so you're going to take your time i feel because you know You've loved and lost in the past with the Ace of Cups and Reverse. I feel like most of us have been through that, right? We've loved somebody so much and um, it just didn't pan out for some reason. But whatever the case is, I feel like some of you will be avoiding the tower moment here because the tower here is in Reverse. That means you don't want the same thing to happen again in the past, right? You are avoiding ending or something unexpected so i'm sensing a lot of you could be very picky or very choosy okay and your 
uh, partner here and if you're separated from someone right now i'm sensing there is also somebody from your past who will be returning and apologizing to you because page of cups is an apology card apologizing for breaking your heart with the three of swords here and finally seeing your worth and your value perhaps also afraid that you know somebody else might see your worth and your value and you'd be snatched up before they could return or want to reconcile so i got the high priestess here the high priestess for me is um somebody who holds a lot of knowledge somebody who is highly intuitive and also it indicates silence or also can indicate fairness right religion as well spirituality um, I feel like with this high priestess, uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Spirit is definitely encouraging you to keep silent, okay? Sometimes less words, less is more, that's what I'm getting here. Or that use your intuition um, to navigate through your life at this moment. Um, or today, it's today's reading, but, you know, can be tomorrow, day after. We've got the death here in reverse, and also we've got the ace of wands here. See, there's something that is written in the story, something that, you know, with high priestess, it's like the all-knowing, he or she already has all of the information. So it feels like these information are faded or um, it's part of your destiny, right? There's one destined uh, Ace of Wands here connection that I feel is going to start, okay? Because Aces indicates a new beginning. So something is going to happen. It's been brewing, I feel. With the death here in my first, uh, some of you, this may be an indication of a revival, okay? A revival of something that may have ended or on its way to ending. And this revival with Ace of Wands here is going to spark something here. I mean, for some of you, maybe this is a revival of an ex, okay? It could be a romantic relationship or it could be a revival of your interest in something, okay? It may have something to do with something that you are passionate about, you desire. It could be something new that makes you feel really, really excited about starting. Some of you starting a new business, starting a new hobby, a new job, uh, a new endeavor, a new lifestyle. It could be something new that I feel like you are very excited about. Some of you, you are going to do that. Um, that's going to happen. I feel like the death of my first candy cake, but some of you, you may have to wait for something else to end first. Perhaps, you know, just an example, leaving a job first before you can start on this new journey or leaving a job first before you go on a vacation. There's something here that I feel you are waiting to finish off before you can start this new journey something new again that is has um that you've been thinking about keeping quiet about with the high priestess here so we've got the four ones five pentacles and the page of pentacles and round first when it comes to your finances i feel like virgo taurus capricorn some of you you are going to invest in buying a home for ones or relocating or moving into a different country, migrating. That's for some of you. You're going to be spending some money on that or building something because number four, four wants can indicate like a foundation, stability, building something that is stable for you. And for some of you, it's you spending some money and uh, getting married <laughs> in your wedding because four ones can indicate marriage as well. So a few different scenarios here. Just take what resonates with you. But if I like if I apply this to your love situation, it feels like the Five Pentacles and the uh, Page of Pentacles in my verse, there's this energy of somebody not appreciating the fact that you've always been there for them, right? This person can be anybody. It could be an ex or it could be somebody you're currently connected with. Um, and this person may not have appreciated you. I feel like the home that you gave them or you know, whatever you have done in this relationship, whatever you have built in this relationship, making them feel comfortable, making them feel uh, at home, stability. I feel like this is this one person here who is going to try and return and apologize. And, and for a lot of you, again, four of cups and three of swords, you may not even want to entertain this person. You may just be like, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. 
but some of you maybe you will consider right or that you may just drag it so not going to accept it that quickly um from what i'm seeing here right four of cups could go either way to be honest but let's see more i've got again the seven of pentacles nine of pentacles and the queen of wands and one first okay for some of you you may be feeling like um, making this money nine of pentacles being independent self-sufficient is way more important than you know the queen of wands here way more important than trying to get attention from people or more important than socializing more important than other things uh that's just for some of you but i'm definitely seeing a lot of you will be embarking in something new here it could be a new relationship or something that you know like for example i'm a virgo right <laughs> i'm also a fellow or sign i've been thinking about learning french so this is something that i feel like maybe i will embark on to learn something new um i'm in france by the way <laughs> maybe this is why i'm thinking about it but for some of you it's something it could be you learning something new or embarking on a new journey whatever it could be that i feel is gonna make you feel really excited um the seven pentacles here for me maybe an indication of uh, for some of you, if you've been investing your money on your property or shares, I see you gaining some money out of it because nine seven is less than nine. I see you gaining some money out of it. And I feel like Queen of Wands can be a bit of a hater as well with it being in reverse. You may have some haters. You have people who are much jealous of you because of who you are, what you have achieved in your life with the Nine of Pentacles. But Spirit is def definitely saying to ignore, to ignore, don't pay these people any attention because judgment is here. Uh, feels like some people could be judging you as well, asking, uh, you know, where did your money come from? Why are you successful now? So doubting whatever you've achieved uh, in your life. But mm, Spirit is definitely saying don't, <laughs> don't, uh, how do you say, uh, don't care. Don't care about these people. <laughs> Don't pay it, pay them any attention. And with the page of swords here, see, a lot of people are actually spying on you. I'm getting here people spying on you, trying to see what you're doing. Or it could be somebody whom, you know, in your past with a justice here, whom both of you may have been married or both of you may have been in a relationship in the past. I feel like this person is definitely spying on you, right? And the judgment here, perhaps they would like to hash things out with you, treat you fairly this time around. And also there's maybe you have an ex or two who is wondering, how is your love life now? Are you married? Are you in a serious relationship right now? The justice for me also can indicate a black and white um contract legal situation i feel like with the justice and the judgment and the page of swords in the upright position uh if you're going through any legal situation i see it being in your favor okay so the truth will come out uh information will come out with the page of swords here after somebody investigating it i feel like you're gonna win that case whatever the case is okay some of you that has something to do with your business your money or any anything could be marriage as well a divorce if that's what uh is going on right now in your life whatever legal situation i definitely sense it to be in your favor and maybe nine of pentacles either you'll win it or you win some money out of it mm, yeah and also we've got the will of fortune look at this will of fortune some of you you are thinking about traveling um or it indicates luck is finally on your side so you're gonna feel very lucky especially lucky in your finances or your career because five pentacles it may have been hard for you at one point in time mm, some of you you've built this on your own you've built this on your own people may have abandoned you or you have decided to make it on your own I see that and finally with the will of fortune here you will come to this full circle where you feel like yes I've finally achieved what I've always wanting to achieve and for some of you it's like okay now I would like to make some changes right something that's gonna make you feel much more excited something that you may have uh, felt inspired to start to do but I definitely sense a uh, will of fortune can indicate a second chance some some of you it's a second chance in love or second chance in marriage some of you, you are getting married two times okay 
or three times <laughs> oh gosh three times is a lot but yeah for some of you maybe you're getting married for the second time or the third time or the first time yeah especially if you've never been married before nine of pentacles so if you're single no longer going to be single for too long feels like something is changing it may have something to do with your relationship or your work situation but a lot of pentacles here so that's your energy to me this indicates stability and you've worked really hard for it for sure with eight of pentacles and nine of pentacles you've been a very reliable person reliable uh staff manager wherever you're at whichever position you're at right now or if you have your own business um people trust you okay people trust you because you are um honest you're honest it's very hard to find an honest business person but you are you are as honest as you can be if you do own your own business but i definitely see uh overall here virgo taurus and capricorn quietly with a high priestess just just wait just wait it feels like somebody may be offering you something here some of you it's an offer and uh an opportunity and in uh, your a business career or it could be love an opportunity to actually reconcile with somebody but i feel like you are going to sit in your power with the empress here you know you're worth your value and again you're not gonna just simply pick anybody you are very picky and you're not gonna simply let anybody back into your life uh without without um without the justice that means without this person agreeing to something that uh you believe that you deserve yeah that's definitely what i'm getting here all right it's a very long reading for signs virgo taurus and capricorn um hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with my latest video on the screen right now this video is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel if you're interested check it out and also i'll leave you with a playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions but uh they're still valid readings because you guys know that i post your videos almost every single day um so cl uh, click on that bonus compilation and scroll all the way down look for your sign there could be some other messages that you may have missed and also i am open for personal reading if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below take care